What's a good all weapon zero build? I was running an all weapon zero build up to OP6 and I couldn't really get any further with it. Um, I'm trying to think what I used to run. Certainly you want to go down, get the uh, the death mark and the kunai. That's good for everything. So definitely go down that tree. I think it's the middle tree where you get the uh, the death mark and the, uh, the kunai. And uh, get the skill that increases your fire rate as well. And uh, that's... Actually, you can do pretty well that way. I'm very sorry. Please that's sort of a uh, all-weapon zero build. That carried me through to OP6. But at that point, I'm pretty much, pretty much going to have to put together a sniper build to continue <coughs> from there. Hello, Exiled. So we're up to OP. We're OP7 at the moment. Trying to get through to OP8. Let's just uh, set up our build here, our weapons. I just played around with this Avenger a little bit because I picked this one up. So we have an o we got a uh, OP6 lead off spinny gun. I don't think I'll ever be using that, so we can get rid of that. And we did pick up all of our lady fists here, so we can start using those for Dukino's mum and maybe some other things. But for now, let's throw the sandhawk back on. We have a slag sandhawk and a non-elemental one. Unfortunately, Avengers aren't very great. Okay, I can probably just get rid of that thing. Picked up an OP6 Hellfire as well. So let's go ahead, throw the non-elemental Sandhawk on. And uh, before I forget, let's just uh, go ahead and mark that as junk, that Avenger. So we've got the Sandhawk, the Pimpernel, the Flame Bone of the Ancients, Blurred Trickster Class Mod and the B Magic Missile. We'll start off with that. So we haven't we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen OP seven level before on Digistruct P. So this will be interesting to see what this is like. Huh. We've got enemies spawning in here. Spider ants. Oh. Okay, the rolling attack does charge, does uh, move quite a bit. Bye now. Good luck, brother. You got this in the bag. Thank you, exiled. See how we go, we explore this new OP7 level. See what enemies we get this time. So we've got something spawning down the bottom there. Probably a tank and a surveyor here. Oh no, we've got a blast a nomad. Bit scared. Keep an eye out for this blast and nomad. Oh, I've got another surveyor as well. Destroyed. 
Definitely don't forget to upgrade your loot to OP7 afterwards. New beast shield mostly. Maybe another Sandhawk. Okay, so beast shield's currently OP5. We got this level 50 Sandhawk. And this is our um, ultimate Vault Hunter mode one. This lag one here. So we ended up with two slags and a non-elemental as far as the sandhawks go. Definitely upgrade the shield, that's probably the most important. Yeah, that's probably the most important, the B shield. Got another surveyor. Oh, it's holding. We're getting all sorts of different enemies at the beginning here. Spider ants, rats, surveyors, blast and nomad. Generally you get uh, only a couple different types of enemies to begin with. Now we're getting a bunch. And we've got some more blast and nomads coming through. them both. Probably the chain reaction helped out a lot there to get that second one. Okay now we can go back get the ammo. Pot of gold shield first try. Let's go. Basically, just a cool trophy. Oh, what is that shield? Pot of gold shield. Oh, the one from Bagman. Got a head here we already have. I don't think I've come across that one before. Not great, but does not drop often, I don't believe. Right, so it's pretty rare. Pretty rare even though it's not that good. Okay, this will be interesting to see what enemies we get here. here turret we got turrets and a surveyor oh no it's a maniac thought it was a surveyor because it was moving really fast so just uh, oh we've got a few turrets around Oh, and actually there is uh, more enemies too. thought it was just going to be the turrets left. Okay, maybe now it's just the turrets. No, we still have more bandits. Ah. 
We'll jump up in a second. Okay, now we have one turret. Two turrets. Gee, they shoot. Look, look how fast they're shooting. I wonder if the fire rate of the turrets actually increases as well, as well with the difficulty. They seem to be like shooting a lot. A lot faster than normal, or at least in previous levels. ammo on the side. So during clan wars. Oh I see, yeah, right. So when you follow when you follow the guy down to the uh, the money room there. that makes sense right yeah that makes sense it's a pot of gold shield keeping with that uh, Irish theme for that clan green adaptive shield got a ton of enemies on top of the cliff here loaders actually quite nice to take some cover behind this uh, cactus here, it does a decent job. Enemies damage you and the shield drops money, oh I see. Yeah, money is not really that big of a problem, particularly later on in the game, so... That is kind of like just one of those novelty shields that's not really all that useful. Or novelty items. We should share an apartment and upload our hijinks to the Echo Net. So now we've got the Marauders. I think I'm better off taking taking cover behind the rock. Hold it right there. We've got rats here. Novelty was the word I wanted, yeah. The bunch of novelty guns that are like a, more annoying than anything else. Then you have the items that are more of a liability, not just a, not just a novelty, but a straight up liability. Like some of the grenades are more trouble than they're worth. use the whiskey tango is that the shield that drops the uh, grenades I've used I think that if I've used that one yeah yeah I found that one one time I didn't realize it was a uh, it was pretty much a troll item I was actually trying to trying to use it properly IED grenades, yeah. Yeah. So like the, bo the boosters that work as grenades. Surveyor. See if I can get these surveyors first. Oh, we've got scorches here with the surveyors. Oh, 
right, supporters are right behind. Still have one more surveyor around. Please stop. Now we have the scorches to deal with. on that rock a little bit. Stay still. Thought I might be able to just finish him off with that one burst. Oh, it should be a little bit easier now, there's just one left. I think I got shot by my own reflected bullets there. There we go. Well, that's a tricky section with the surveyors and the scorchers together. Definitely something to keep in mind. Henceforth the name WTF. Hello Zero. How are you going? Oh, we've opened all of these ammo boxes. Yeah, I was trying to use that WTF grenade normally. It does turn out to be a handful when it's just dropping dropping grenades right next to you and you get hit by them. I'm good, just started my first zero playthrough. Yeah, I've done a zero character. I got got, got I got my zero up to OP6. Just using a, a general purpose build and just using whatever weapons I like. But at this point I'll probably need to do a uh, sniper build to get me further with my zero. So this is my first run with Maya going up to the OP levels here. So what do we have here? Oh, we've got Dukino's mum, so let's switch things up a little bit. Sheriff's badge. And the lady fist. Okay, let's try this. Sheriff's badge and the lady fist. We've got some other enemies around too. What do we have here? Down. Gotcha. Have to watch out for Dukino's mom here. We've got a ton of enemies. Keep coming, these enemies. Yeah, 
Mr. Kuno's mom. Have to try to keep a good distance with Dukino's mum. Otherwise it is going to be a problem. Oh, there's one more. Oh no, that's Dukino's mum there. It's always a, happen when, ha always a hassle when she jumps on the rock. Is she aggroed on the uh, bandits? So now it's just me and her. to come all the way around here. Another one of those shock orbs. That's always a half hassle when she comes onto the rock there. Now she's off the rock. I thought I was a good distance not to get hit by it or not. Oh, yeah. Now we're going down. Going down with that orb. Got some drunk shots here. I don't think I'm going to make it though. Wasn't expecting that uh, shock orb. Thought I was a good, a good distance away. Highly recommended getting different grenades for grenades mid for healing. Chain lightning is an amazing option. Fastball, magic missile, a longbow Tesla, zero fuse. Right. The chain lightning, yeah, fastball. Yeah, my magic missile is actually quite low level at this point, 55. So if this was a higher level, it definitely would be more useful for healing. And a longbow Tesla. Do have an, a low level longbow hmm, Tesla, 79. Maybe consider getting a Chain Lightning Grenade mod. Very strong. Yeah, Chain Lightning might be useful. And I could try to get an upgraded Magic Missile at the same time. Or go and farm for a Longbow Tesla on level. Yeah. Might be useful, yeah. So for a longbow Tesla, would you just use the uh, snowman for that? Or is there a particular... Yeah, snowman. Wham Bam Island would be great, honestly. So either one of those, right. So I think we have to check these chests.
And maybe we could try. No enemies to fight our wham bam. Okay, so we can we can try that out actually. So let's see. You know how to reach the chest. I usually just uh, jump from the bottom. Here we go. Wham, bam. Yeah, I usually just uh, jump from the bottom, but I don't know how to get up there, get up to that level. When you make a new slot and play and level up a bit, what's the best level to go to Snowman DLC? I'm not sure actually. Not sure what the best level is to go to the snowman one. I think the level does get uh, locked for the headhunter DLCs when you first go there. But as far as what's the best level to go there, I'm not sure. So go out the door, head to the palm tree, jump behind the tree. And can you get up there, or you just uh, jump from below? Jump behind this tree here. I usually just jump up from here. I'll get stuck. Then crouch. Okay, get stuck and crouch. Oh, here. Turn left and you can walk up. Oh, maybe all the. Oh, you go all the way up here. So pop in mine and I'll show you. Okay, all right, we'll have a look. Let's have a quick look here, see if we can figure this out. We'll see if we can, so from wham bam. Have a look. See if I can get the window up here. Okay, so there, so you behind the palm tree,
I go to that spot there. Jump there, I'll then crouch, and then you can, I see, so right next to the wall there. Okay, I think I get it. Let's see here, yeah, I think I get that. So jump on that spot, then crouch, and you can get through. Yep. Okay, let's see if I can get through that. How do I get stuck? Too close, right. Oh, I see. Oh, there you go. So at least I got up there that time. Ah. There we go. I'm on there. Oh yeah, and then you can wriggle through, right. Hitting your head on the rock above. Oh, I see. So that's how you get up there. Oh, thanks for that exiled. So nothing that time. Yeah, I, I was just uh, jumping from below. I usually just jump from below. I didn't realize you could actually get up there. Yeah, thanks for that exile. I didn't know you could actually get up, get up on that rock. So yeah, you got that rock above as well. on there but can't quite oh now I can I just had to back up a little bit yeah so you have to back you have to be just slightly back oh, got some grenades here sticky lobbed corrosive transfusion it's a lob tesla with a zero fuse time A longbow slag transfusion, 1.4 second fuse. So we've got a lob, te lost, a lob Tesla with a zero fuse time. Lob will work till you find a longbow. Yeah, I think, I think lobbed might be might be good enough. We might just try a couple more times. Jump from slightly further back. Crouch. Just go back up a little bit. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's an, I think that's an easy mistake to make, coming too far forward. Nice. Only when slag a launcher. I might just try one more time and then I'll just, uh, I'll keep that uh, lob Tesla. We'll just use that one. This is, a, is an easy, fast farm. Bit of grab loot, as you can see. Yeah, it is actually. Scheming water class mod, leeching matriarch. Okay, so we can just keep this Tesla for now. And you can see, and you can reset ultimate vault hunter mode each time. You reach a new OP level, a quick loot on level. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Every time you, uh, every time you get a new OP level, you just set that up. <clears throat> so that's our new test, our OP seven. We can get rid of this level 79. Do we have any other stuff to get rid of? We've got a couple items marked for sale here we can get rid of also. We've got another Blood of the Ancients, we can probably get rid of that too. That's got SMG ammo, might just keep that one for the SMG ammo. Found a couple of adaptive shields here. I'll take the OP6, they're both therapeutic ones. So we can sell that other stuff off. It's a fine day, full of opportunities. Remember, we're always open. And we can make use of that test the shield. That will actually be very useful, that Tesla shield, a Tesla grenade. Because I wanted a Tesla grenade, I wanted to try out uh, destroying those hatchets that the assassins throw with a Tesla grenade. So I can try that out, see how that goes to neutralize those hatchets. I should check my ammo too, actually. Okay, ammo looks okay. Maybe get a few more rockets. We'll try that. So I guess for Dukino's mum, I just have to be a little bit more careful of the of the distance. Because she did end up shooting that shock orb at me, even though I thought I was at a good distance. But I guess I was too far away. have the share of spadge. Let's just go back to the flame, bone of the ancients. And we'll throw the sand hook back on. The non-elemental one.
Yeah, that's an easy, easy, quick chest to get to. But it's easy to easy to try that one out when you get to a new OP level. Stay still. So we had uh, spider ants last time. This time we got uh, bandits. Badass Marauder. So there's, we can see a variation already between the spider ants and the marauders. Hope these enemies do not catch you off guard. So what do we have here? Spider ant. Stay put. Surveyor on this side. Well, that surveyor was taken care of. Get a matching grip and shotgun Jacobs, like a quad. Nice snipers and grenade mods. It's a, a wonderful spot for basically all loot if you have the patience. Okay, so you get all, it's a, that's a nice chest for all of those things. Homing move. I should, I don't usually use that uh, chest, but I probably should hit up that chest more often. But what do we have here? Another spider ant. Now we have all, all of the surveyors. Oh, I strafed into that. I was trying to strafe away, but I thought I could duck between. Just wait for the phase lock. It's another surveyor. Please stop. Got a surveyor heavy section. Expecting the blaster nomads there. Well, they're probably coming up now. Is this a blaster nomad? Usually they're coming in groups of three. Badass loader, so yeah, this is a bit different variation. Blast of nomads that time. You've not died yet, which pleases me. You've got more of the gauntlet left and therefore still could die, which pleases me even more. I 
lady fist seemed uh, handier than I realized. I can probably use that as well at some point. The lady fist and the cherus badge. Maybe make more use of that. So we had turrets here and bandits. Well, at least last time we did. Badass maniac. I think there still is one more bandit coming through. It's a rat. This cannibal rat's quite tanky actually. I think I'm safe on this side. I was wondering if I, if I was going to get shot from the side there, but it looks like I'm safe from here on here. Homing Tesla. Oh, I do get shot. Thought I was safe to peek over the top. I can run back up to get that ammo. I don't know if I need it. I'll leave it there. I've been using the Pimpernel for the surveyors. It seems to be okay. I wonder if there's a better better weapon for the job. Something that's a little bit faster to aim with than having to ADS with the sniper. So we have another surveyor here. Oh, two surveyors. Kind of weird how they just drop down to the ground like that. If you have an honorable B shield, you'll be fine, right. So B, Pimp B, yeah. Yeah, and I also have the Flame Pimp with the Flame Bone of the Ancient, so that's probably, that's nice as well. To have that, that other boost, as well as the B shield. Looks like another surveyor. So a bunch of surveyors here. I'll try to get the badass one if I can. You won't At least Bye I can now. get the cloud kill working for me. Right 
Okay, looks like we can move forward a little bit here. Alright, before we continue, I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 